We're not getting the BBL. We're going to learn how to dress for our body type. If you have narrow hips and you hate all of your clothes, I'm going to talk about a few reasons why that is and how to fix it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and today I want to talk about how to learn how to dress for your body type and how you can learn to use these same tips to learn how to not only love your clothes but your body as well. As a fellow woman with narrow hips, I used to find it really hard learning how to put outfits together, especially as I was coming into my late teens, early 20s during the peak era of the Instagram baddie aesthetic. Everything was skinny jeans, everything was crop tops, everything was bodycon. So much of the clothing that was advertised to people my age and especially in my demographic was clothing that was not meant for my body. And disclaimer, yes, you can wear whatever you want, but it's just no denying that some things do look better on certain bodies than others. And when it came to the IG baddie aesthetic, everything being super bodycon, crop tops, skinny jeans, everything's tight it looks better on a more hourglass figure let's be real that is why most of the models who advertise these clothing are shaped hourglass that's why they're not using models who have more broad shoulders or more narrow hips or a wider waist it looks better on people who are just more shapely and more hourglass i do appreciate the ig baddie aesthetic for what it is but i have to say it did affect me mentally because i would buy this clothing and it would not look like that on me okay i was out here looking like a chili pepper with legs chili pepper with legs that is ugly and i know a lot of people have felt this way because there's even that ongoing joke with the one fashion nova model people always say if you see her modeling the clothes just know it's not gonna look like that on you everything is not necessarily meant for everyone can you wear anything of course are some things going to look better on you than others Yes. I just want to reiterate that there is nothing wrong with having narrow hips. I feel like in society, we've kind of been conditioned to see the hourglass frame as the most desirable body. Like it's the pinnacle of womanhood and that if you don't have that type of body type, then you're less feminine. And I just want you to know that that is not true at all. Now, there are a lot of reasons why we have been conditioned to desire the hourglass body frame. Some of it is evolutionary. Wider hips was always Always associated with having more fertility and being able to safely give birth to children. So over a long period of time, men used to seek out women who had more of a wider hips and fuller busts because it just meant you could have more babies. And of course, we live in a patriarchal society, so anything that men like is obviously going to be pushed on women more. And I also think it has to do with just the human eye loving symmetry. We love to see balance in things. There's certain shapes and paintings and photographs that just speak to us a lot more than others. And it's just because we like to see this nice ratio or we like to see balance in things. And I think when we look at bodies, we sometimes look for that same balance. Similar to how we really like symmetry in the face, I think sometimes when we look at bodies, we're looking for that same symmetry. And I think those are just some reasons why we kind of have this deep rooted desire for the hourglass body. It's like deep in our psyche somewhere. But of course, the hourglass silhouette is not the only shape that is attractive to the human eye. You can learn how to create other shapes or balance out your body by using clothing. And I promise you, once you learn how to dress for your body, you will appreciate your body so much more. So my first reason as to why you hate all of your clothes is that your pants are too tight. Your pants are too tight, girl. If you have narrow hips and you wear pants that are really tight in the hip area, it brings more attention to how narrow your hips are. Avoid skinny jeans at all costs. I feel like the narrow hip community deserves financial compensation for having to go through the era of skinny jeans being the only appropriate jean you could have like remember that time where like even boot cut jeans were considered not cool like you could only wear skinny jeans and when i tell you skinny jeans are like the worst type of jeans for narrow hips like 
thinking about the fact that I was wearing skinny jeans and like big hoodies and like big jackets because I was trying to cover up my broad shoulders, I literally was walking around looking like Gru from Despicable Me. As you can see, these skinny jeans are doing nothing for my figure. They're making my hips look super narrow and square. They're just squeezing me in and not in a good way. And then the tapering all the way down to my ankles just makes my feet look extra large. If you have narrow hips, I would go with a wide leg jean instead. The width of the leg being the same all the way down to the ankle balances out the body so much more and makes your hips look less narrow. And this is why you don't follow every single trend because it's not always meant for you. The only time I ever really see skinny jeans look good on someone with narrow hips is also when the person is just skinny themselves. Like they have a really tiny waist. They're just kind of like super narrow up and down. My other exception to skinny jeans is when they're paired with riding boots. I think this look is very chic. It's giving Ralph Lauren equestrian vibes. And I think just the boot concealing that skinny tapered ankle really helps balance out the rest of the body. So if you're going to do pants, anything that has a looser fit in the hip area, anything with pockets, with pleats, is gonna be a lot more complimentary on your body. Another reason you may hate all your clothes is that you're wearing the wrong rise of pants. The length of your torso in relation to the rest of your body is really important when you're trying to pick out the proper rise of pants. If you're not sure if you have a short, moderate, or long torso, a simple trick you can do is take your hands and put them right under your bust. And if your hands are covering your belly button, that can mean you have a short torso. If your hands rest above your belly button, it can mean you have a long torso. A lot of style advice blogs will tell you to wear high rise pants if you have narrow hips because it cinches in the waist. And this can be great advice, but if you have a short torso, this is not the best rise for you. It can actually make you look disproportionate. And also if you have a larger chest, listen up, because the larger your chest, the shorter your torso is gonna look, simply because your chest is gonna take up more space on your body. If you have a short torso and you wear a high-waisted pant, it's gonna make you look disproportionate because you're just gonna be all chest and leg. Because my body can sometimes give the appearance of having a shorter torso than I actually do, anytime I wear a high-rise pant, I always try to pair it with some type of belt to give more waist emphasis and wear a v-neck to just balance out my top and my bottom a lot more. Opt for a mid-rise pant instead, something that hits you right at the belly button or a little bit under it. I love mid-rise jeans, I love mid-rise pants, I just think they look a lot more complimentary on me. I also really love a low-rise jean, I don't know why we got rid of low rise jeans, they actually look really great on people who have narrow hips. I know some people are like afraid of low rise jeans, but I promise you like they actually look really good on a lot of people. Now, instead of wearing a crop top with low rise jeans, especially if you're uncomfortable with your belly area, opt for a shirt that actually goes all the way down and hits you right at the hips. The key is to wear a shirt that is an actual shirt and not a crop top. Low rise jeans just give so much more width to the bottom half of your body. And especially a more relaxed fit just gives the illusion of more volume in the hip area. Another reason why you hate all your clothing is that you're wearing fabrics that are too thin. Thin sheer fabrics do not have any structure to them. So when you put them on, all they do is cling to your body and they're gonna show every bump, every roll, everything you don't want to be seen. If you are not a curvy person, it can be really hard to pull off super, super tight from the top to the bottom, sheer tight bodycon clothing. Now I love this bodycon dress from Aritzia, but it is not the most flattering thing for my figure. It's just squeezing me so much. You see every lump, every bump, every hip dip, and it's just making me look like I have no shape. Even though this isn't the most flattering dress for my body type, I still really like it, so I'm still gonna wear it. But what I will do to help it look better on me is to add a piece of clothing that does honor my frame, which is more narrow and straight up and down. So I'm going to add this flowy coat on top and it just creates a completely different silhouette Silhouette. And this is a good trick for being able to still pull off things that aren't the most flattering on you without having to get rid of all of your clothes because we don't want to do that and be wasteful. Finding clothes that look good on your body type is all about wearing garments that mimic the natural lines of your frame already. Adding this coat, which is long and vertical, like my body, immediately makes this dress look a lot more complimentary on me because I'm accentuating what is already there. 
When you have narrow hips, you want to be looking for fabrics that are thicker in general. Thicker clothing will help you to create more structure on your body where you lack it. Tissue paper thin skirts and dresses are just not going to be your friend. And I know sometimes this can be hard because we live in an era where everything is fast fashion and just super cheap and just really thin fabrics. Try to look for things that are double lined. I really like denim skirts as well. Ribbed clothing, leather pants, anything that is just going to naturally have a little bit more of a thickness to it because it's just going to help you give more shape to your body. This bodycon dress versus the first one is a lot more flattering on my figure and that's because this one has a much thicker fabric and the fabric also has texture to it. Because the dress is made out of a thicker material, it smooths out my silhouette a lot more, it holds me in a lot better, and also the texture of the dress just gives the eye something more interesting to look at. And if you have the money to invest in higher quality pieces, I definitely recommend doing this. I really believe in the fact that it is so much better to have two or three dresses that absolutely fit you like a glove and make you look amazing than to have 15 dresses that look crappy on you and you're always trying to pull them up and you don't want to take full body pictures in them and you're just not confident in them because they just don't work well with you. Another reason why you hate all your clothes is that you're wearing the wrong tops. If you have narrow hips, you wanna be really mindful of balancing out the top half of your body. I've noticed that wearing tops that are too oversized or really bulky just make my upper half look more bulky. And when my top half looks bigger, it makes my bottom half look smaller. Now, if you still wanna wear an oversized or chunky sweater, go for a V-neck instead of a crew neck because this will help to balance out the top half of your body a lot more. Sweaters that are a little bit more bulky or or cropped it can sometimes just make the rest of my body look more bulky now do I still wear these sweaters that I have that do that of course because I'm not just gonna get rid of everything I wear I still wear clothing that doesn't necessarily fit my body type because I just like it but I'm definitely still mindful that it's maybe not the best thing for me to put on if I want to like really just like slay that day so being mindful of your necklines if you're wearing a very high neckline like a turtleneck or something Wearing a very high-waisted pant as well can make you just look very narrow and kind of like scrunched up in this area, especially if you have short torso or larger chest. This turtleneck, for example, just makes me look super disproportionate. My chest looks a lot larger than it actually is. Going for a V-neck top instead just balances out the body a lot more, especially with these super high-waisted pants. I really like to stick to this rule. If I'm wearing a high-waisted pant and I'm more covered up on the bottom, I like to wear a V-neck or something that's just more open up top and vice versa. If I'm wearing a high neckline or a turtleneck, I like to wear something shorter on the bottom, like a mini skirt. I especially I actually love pleated skirts for narrow hips. They look really great on us. Another tip I have for narrow hips is dark tops light bottoms. I love this outfit combo, especially in the summertime, wearing like a tight dark top with looser fitting lighter bottoms just makes your body look so much more proportionate. It gives the illusion of wider hips. It gives the illusion of having a smaller waist. This is also why I like to go for a lighter wash jean as well. I don't really wear a lot of dark denim because dark denim is going to make me look smaller on my bottom half. Light colored denim is a lot more complimentary. Another tip is I love an asymmetrical skirt or a wrap dress or skirt. Wrap dresses look amazing on every single body type, but especially if you are insecure about your hips or you have broad shoulders, this is the perfect type of dress to have. And I love a shirt dress with a belt because that's my eating dress, okay? Like this is the kind of dress you can wear and go out to dinner, stuff your face, and it doesn't matter how bloated you are, you're gonna look cute. And if you're not already, go follow me on my Instagram. I made a brand new account, started from scratch, and I'm posting lots of outfit inspo that is narrow hip friendly i have style guides i talk about kibby body type feminine archetypes and i also have my ltk linked so you can see where i get my clothes directly that's all i have for today guys comment down below what you found to be the most helpful or what do you like to wear don't forget to like and subscribe turn on those post notifications and i will see you guys later bye